sticky toffee pudding date bars. Hey everybody, it's Ryan Scott here at my house in Marin County, California, and you're wondering why I'm holding this? Because Rachel gave me the challenge of making a sheet pan dessert. I'm gonna call this, let's make a date bar. <laughs> Let's make the dough. We're gonna take four and a half sticks of butter. This is softened butter, three quarters cup of powdered sugar. Lift the latch, and this is gonna cream for about two or three minutes until doubled and light and fluffy. So we're gonna line this with parchment paper. Then I take my nonstick spray and just spray it. It is now halfway creamed, which means it's doubled in size. I'm now just gonna go ahead and add a teaspoon of salt. Mix that up again for just a second, make sure the salt is evenly distributed with the butter and the sugar. Pumpkin wants to say hi, by the way. We're gonna add two and a quarter cups flour. And you get this. Boom, look at that. I spray this side and then just press this down. And press it in all the little corners. This comes off pretty easy. And then you just kind of press the dough in, in the corners. Take a fork, just dock it. Oven set at 400 degrees, about 15, 20 minutes. You'll be good to go. Now, let's make the filling. I got a lot of dates here. I'm gonna pick about a good handful out of here. I'm gonna go ahead and take the seeds out of these guys and then get to chopping. What I like to do is just rehydrate them just a little bit. I'm gonna put a little bit of um, rum in mine. You don't have to. You can put hot water, it's totally fine. That's for you, John. Let the alcohol burn off or let the water cook off until it's nice and sticky and tacky. And now let's make the filling. Four eggs first. I like to take my one cup measure and I spray the inside because that way the corn syrup will not stick to it. And then we just do, and then watch how this just falls out. <laughs> I'm going to add a half cup of sugar. Grab my whisk and whisk this until it's shiny, fluffy, golden, has a little shimmer to it. We're gonna add one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. One teaspoon of baking soda. One teaspoon of salt. It's gonna be a three quarters cup of flour that goes in here. Now what I wanna do is I wanna attack the pecans. It's gonna take three cups of pecans. You take this guy, you set it down, take a little bit of air out of it. And toss these bad boys in with your custardy amazing flour. And our dates go right inside. Stir this guy together, and you have kind of pecani, datey, custardy, toffee. Now, what I want to make is the sticky toffee aspect of it, and I want to do something with dates and kind of mimic the dates that are inside and then a date syrup. So, what I'm going to do is take another stick of butter. Yes. Do not write the butter police and say that I put five and a half sticks in this whole recipe, because I did. Non-stick pot, just, you know, quarter or so, two quarts. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one cup of brown sugar. Boom. Two tablespoons of date syrup. Put this on the stove top. Well, let me get some cream, hold tight real fast. We're gonna get the cream. Hey, what are you guys doing here? So the recipe calls for two thirds cup of cream that goes inside here. What I like to do is once it's come to a boil, take it off the stove top, set it on your counter. You just want to make sure that it doesn't splatter or hurt you. And I add it in off the heat. Stand back. I'm going to bring that back up to a boil. So here's our crust that we cooked. About 15, 20 minutes. You want to get a little bit of color on it. Don't overcook it. You push this amazing mixture all over. Pop it back into the oven. About 20, 30 minutes. Please play the syrup pouring music. Let this cool, then we're gonna cut it. Slide it out of the pan. 